Explorers from far and beyond have crossed waters and mountains to seek the treasures of Colombia. In colonial days, they built cities and forts, allured by the myth of El Dorado. But the real jewels have never been only those made of gold and silver. Today, the lush forests of Colombia's Coffee Triangle produce some of the best coffee beans in the world. I expect to have a good cup of coffee. <laughs> the streets of Bogota transport us back in time. While the sparkling Bay of Cartagena and the metropolis of Medellin offers access to some of the world's most innovative cities. What adventures await in the history and hills of this part of South America? Bogota was once a powerful colonial Spanish capital. Today, Bogota remains a dynamic capital city with a population of eight million distinctive individuals. I was born and raised in Bogota, Colombia. I'm so proud of my country and having this opportunity to show how the country has changed is uh, for me like a dream. Located in the northern part of the Andes Mountains, Medellin has emerged from a conflict-ridden past to become the leading city of innovation in South America. Everybody I've talked to said, Colombia, Colombia, what the hell? You know what Colombia is famous for, why are you going there? It was, it's truly been a good trip. Today we have a very interesting day ahead. We are going to go to the coffee farm, the coffee hacienda. We are going to learn why our Colombian coffee is different from others and what makes our Colombian coffee unique. This is an interesting experience. From within Colombia's coffee trees, the volcanic soil produces top quality Arabica beans, which are grown, harvested, and washed on local plantations then dried and exported to countries all over the world. The shell basically acts like a small package to the green bean that it's inside. Juan Pablo, he's just uh, an expert in the Colombian coffee. And of course, his family, uh, like about four generations working for coffee uh, in the coffee farm, so for that reason, he's also very enthusiastic. Oh, here, you don't like coffee, but I'm gonna give you a coffee flower. We had a wonderful espresso. I'd like another one, but maybe after lunch. <laughs> Gotta ration it out. This coffee shop is located in Salento. It's a beautiful colonial town. In the creation of latte art, these decorative patterns in the foam on espresso drinks are made by the local baristas. Two of them, they already tried to make the figures. I think, I think they did it very well. The Yipayos is a colorfully decorated Jeep, normally used in local parades and celebrations. But they are also a great way to discover the cloud forests of Corcora National Park. The wax palm tree, Colombia's national tree, can grow to a staggering height of 250 feet. La palma de cera, nuestro árbol nacional colombiano. Okay, it says that the, this tree that you're going to plant is the wax palm tree of Quindío. So this uh, palm tree is going to be a link of friendship between you and us. Like this? Like this? Yeah, like, like this. this. Okay. And... But you make those wonderful contacts, you realize how human these folks are. Mm -hmm. 
Known as the most formidable defensive complex of Spanish military architecture, the San Felipe Fortress was built in 1536 and was named in honor of Philip IV of Spain. This was like a ramp, this angle. In the late 1600s, Englishman Sir Francis Drake arrived here with a powerful fleet and quickly took the city. After paying a ransom, it is estimated that Spain poured the equivalent of two trillion dollars into the city's fortifications over the next few decades. Stacks of gold and silver treasures would be kept in these tunnels, protected from the plundering Caribbean pirates. Oh, it was beautiful. Fabulous. Yes, and the tunnels were cool too. Designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Cartagena's colonial walled city and fortress are surrounded by water on all sides. We're going to pass very close to the city wall is all the view uh, from the water of Cartagena. In the waters surrounding the statue of the Virgin Mary, fishermen set their nets, hoping to sell their catch to restaurants that prepare the local specialty. Fish Cebiche. An adventure through Colombia's Medellin city and the fortifications of Cartagena and the colonial charm of Bogota and beyond. Oh, it could get you out and away, and you're in the village, and we never would have gotten there on our own through the heart of the coffee triangle, through the lush cloud forest. A South American journey awaits your discovery. Mm -hmm.